If you missed the last video, you definitely want to check it out. In that video, there was a mother who told everyone on TikTok that she advised her adult daughter that she needed to have three things to be stable so that she never needed a man. Her own house, her own car, and her own income. And if she had those three things, it doesn't matter what a man says, he could drop dead for all she cared. It was also crazy that in that video, she said that she went on a 14 day trip with her adult daughter, which is exactly why they feed this type of information to their daughters. Because of course, she could never attract a high quality man. You know, a woman that loud with blue hair, she's screaming that she's a rebel. So of course, a decent quality man would not stick around and be with a woman like this, which is why she has to sabotage her daughter so she could have somebody to take that 14 day trip with. You know, somebody to be her lifelong companion. That's what they do. Unfortunately, young ladies, a lot of your mothers, they're sabotaging you on purpose so that they can keep your company. They need you there. But you had a lot of others like her who found her way in the comments, like this one here, who said, I didn't hear the entire clip. All women need to have their own. Having their own doesn't undermine a man's authority and all men don't deserve that kind of authority. And you know, they're just so disingenuous. Like when you did watch the whole clip of that woman and you agreed with every part she said and even went a step further to comment on it saying you saw nothing wrong with what she said. But if it's true and you didn't watch her whole clip, why are you commenting saying that you agree with something that you didn't watch? But yeah, there's no issue with the woman being an adult and knowing how to take care of herself. This is basic stuff. If you're a single woman, you gotta have your own car. You gotta have a place to stay. You have to have money. That's not the issue. It's what she said after that. And that's why women like her keep other women single. The woman said if you had your own, a ninja couldn't tell you nothing. And it didn't matter if he dropped dead. Meaning you don't have to listen to him if you don't want to. And he's so irrelevant to your life that it didn't matter if he was in it or not. They all heard that part there, but they try to skip over it. Black women, they think that if they had their own, they don't need a man. They've been saying this for years now. They knew exactly what the lady was saying, but want to act like they're confused, like this one right here. She said, how can y'all say that? And I teach my daughters the same thing. What if she gets married and he's the breadwinner and leaves her nothing and she depended on him? Y'all call her a gold digger, especially if she had a child and ask for child support. Y'all the same females to say get a job. Make up y'all's mind. You notice she said make up our minds as if we're confused about something. It's nothing to be confused about. But black women deliberately say things like this to cause confusion, to cause disruption. They do this on purpose. Again, it's not the woman earning money and having a car. It's the mindset, the attitude they adopt that if she has all this money, it's going to replace the authority of a man. She said, you don't have to listen to him if you had your own. Why? It doesn't even matter if he's alive. Because you can do whatever you want to do anyway. They keep ignoring that part on purpose. And this is why black men should really stop trying to work it out with black women with this kind of mindset. You cannot change them. I've said it over and over on this channel. You can't mold stale bread. And most black women over the age of 30, they're too jaded, too stale, too bitter, and there's no shaping and molding left in them. A lot of them, they're just not flexible. That's why they waste time trying to argue you down about it. They have been fully programmed, and some of them, by that point, they've been fed a steady diet of feminism, a steady diet of I don't need a man for nothing, a steady diet of I can do bad by myself, a steady diet of a bunch of rhetoric that shaped their minds and got them the results they have now. I believe that most of them nearly all of them cannot be changed. And I'm telling you the truth, they can't be changed. Even when Kevin Samuels was alive, a lot of the older women, they saw a little glimpse of hope because he told them the things they could do to change. And by the way, they still hated him, but he helped a lot of them, or at least they learned chameleon niece fluent enough to hurry up and lock down somebody who was desperate enough to believe them. You know, lock down somebody who believed that they could change. Towards the end of his life, at least the last year or two, he zeroed in on the older women, 30 plus, mostly 35 and up, and gave them advice about how they could succeed right now. He spent a lot of time helping and consulting with the older women. And at that time, and even now, I zeroed in on the younger women. My mission was stopping them from becoming single mothers, telling them to protect their womb, 
stop them from making these mistakes that these older women made so that they don't have to live through struggle, misery, and become bitter. They could actually live the life that they want because they're able to not only attract a decent man, but they can keep a decent man of high quality because they are a woman of high quality. See, a lot of women complaining about all this toxicity and low quality behavior and results, most of them are getting exactly what you're supposed to get when you are a low quality and toxic person yourself. And then they don't wanna do anything that builds up their value as a woman. They rather compete with men and work on things that make men valuable and then get upset when men of high quality aren't interested in them because those men don't have the same criteria for their women as the women have for their men. The women who refuse to understand this, they're upset that the criteria is different and instead of going by the set guidelines for women, they try to change the guidelines or completely get rid of them. It does not work like that and you are going to stay losing. Really quick, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click that notification bell for all updates. You never want to miss when I drop a new lesson here. And then you have that conversation with Kendra G and comedian Corey Holcomb. Kendra was basically saying what the other woman was saying. Of course, she's not as loud and obnoxious as that other woman, but she's like, I got money now, so I don't have to bow down to keep a man. I can have a child now and I don't need the father there because I make my own money. And congratulations to Kendra for her recent success. I would like to point out that she's been a great case study if you've been watching of how women change when they make accomplishments and certain gains in their career. They become less cooperative, which is crazy because they've never really been cooperative anyway, which is why most of them are not able to attract the men they want because high quality men and men with standards, they don't accept that from their women. They're not debating with rebels. They don't have these kind of arguments. They just leave them alone. They don't deal with women like that. And honestly, that's exactly how it should be. Leave them alone and let them be their own man. And you know, that's what brothers are doing. They're responding with their feet. In fact, most of them don't even talk about it. Next thing you know, you look up and a whole other woman from a different race, she's got him. He's like, I'm not about to sit over here wasting 10, 20 years arguing with Taisha trying to get her to act right. Because it doesn't matter what you do and how much you try, you will not be able to take the rebel out of her. And every day will be a struggle for power and control until the day you leave her for an actual woman. So stop trying to compromise with a woman that's trying her hardest to be a man. And then Taisha and all her friends, they just sit around all day complaining about his preference and why she got left, never once taking accountability for why nobody is interested in being with her, not even other men of other races, because they don't want to deal with that headache either. So they come up with all kinds of excuses, like the one earlier saying that all men, they're not deserving of authority. Yeah, he's not deserving of authority and submission, but he's deserving of your body. You give him babies once, twice, three times. Please explain how he's so unworthy, but somehow you keep him in your bed and y'all keep producing bastard babies. Remember, the babies out of wedlock, you're having them with the same 20% of guys. Y'all are doubling and tripling up with them. If he's so unworthy, how do you find yourself in his presence? You shouldn't be going anywhere with him. You shouldn't even be talking to him. But y'all know why y'all keep talking to all the men y'all say are low quality. You know that if you cut them off, you won't have any male attention. Because as a trash, toxic female yourself, the only men you're able to attract are the trash, toxic males. It's not a mistake that low quality people end up together. You got a low quality mindset, you're going to attract a man on that same wave. You got a low quality spirit, that's what you're going to attract. You got a low quality attitude. Any man that will accept you is the bottom of the barrel. High quality women, and I mean true high quality women. And by the way, your job, your house, your car degrees, they won't make you high quality. But high quality women won't even communicate or be in the presence of a low quality man. Kendra G, she proved Corey's point. A lot of women are single mothers and they're single because of their attitudes. They care more about their opinions than being right, than being with the man they had a baby with. So they can't even get along with them for them to stay around. They have the same attitude that Kendra was talking about. They can do whatever they want, and the man can leave if he doesn't approve of it. Either that or they choose a low quality man to have a child with and again, they only chose him because she wasn't qualified for a high quality man. So she took whatever attention that she can get. 
The truth is most women in America, they're single and they have issues with relationships. It's because they're really not quality women. That's the issue here. And because they're not quality women, they don't qualify for better. They attract exactly what they are. They're all on social media, all on the radio, on TV, saying things like they don't have to listen to a man if they have their own. They don't have to submit to a man if they had their own. And then they wonder why high quality men won't even look their way. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. I definitely want to hear what you think about all of this. Shout out to William H, Barry, O'Deary, Andre, and I cannot forget the brothers Dark Power, Ian, Lee, and Daryl. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share. No, if you're a woman and you want to keep the man that you had a baby with, you have to bow down. You have to bow down. You are not in charge here. What are you talking about, Corey? You have you're to bow down. You're trying to make me upset. What is <laughs> it? She's trying to make me upset. I'm not going to lie. Do you me. have kids? I don't have any kids. Obviously, you ain't got no kids. That's what I'm saying. It's like, what do you you're, mean? Not, I, going, you're not going to bow down. No, I'm not. But I right. have enough money to raise my child with or without the guy. Right, but like I'm saying, like I, 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 I can respect that, but do you have a man? I'm not talking about that. <laughs>